Good morning, my lovelies. It should be morning or afternoon. It's 12 o'clock, midday. Hubby and I have been staying up late because we've been watching alone. We watched season one, season two, and we skipped. Now we're on season seven and we haven't finished it. We're gonna finish it tonight. But anywho, I'll have a sip of my coffee. It has been a cold morning and yesterday, or should I say last night, I managed to empty the shelves out and then now I need to remove all of this because that is just, look, it's, there's movement in the station so I have to cut it all out. Even down in the bottom, look at that, all rusty and very holy. It's a religious shelf. It's got plenty of holiness in it. Do you watch alone? I don't know if you watched that survival. It was my brother's fault. He got me onto it and he said, you should watch survival. You should join survival. Maybe Habi said 40 years ago, have I have, if, if that show existed, I would have joined it. And look at this beautiful Sadum comic tom or comic storm. That one is the most gorgeous when it's old and stressed. That's already a very mature plant on a ad on an inside uh, well inside that pot of course advanced soul mix is what i use for that one this snow peach i've been battling with myself for a long time to the identity of this one because i bought it as a snow peach and today i put in a bid on another snow peach because does that look like an opalina to you but anyway because I have my opalina growing big and fat because I think it's a Graptivaria snow peach. It's a hybrid between Lawi and Amethystinum. So anyway, this one now is my huge. I think this one is a different one again. See, there's so many hybrids, but where's my opalina? Okay, here's my opalina. So this opalina here has been grown to perfection and it's looking very, very similar to this something snow whatever I've forgotten now what it's called snow peach and or are you snow no snow angel is different anyway all these hybrids it's so confusing so even this look these are mexican giant and my other mexican giant that's grown in other parts are long and skinny and these ones are just so beautiful but this is already grown from my other mexican giant so it's just so confusing. I think they grow and they grow. They change their form depending on the condition where you plant them and uh, position. And speaking of position, these are all in the frost area position. Oh, look how beautiful this purple delight is. You are such a delight. Okay, so that one is a big one. And those ones are small ones in the same pot. I was meant to do a bonsification video, but for the life of me, I couldn't get around to doing it because there's really nothing to bonsification except planting your plants in a small pot. If you grow something in a small pot, it's going to remain small. If you grow it, look, that one is acacia pond, very small, and this one is Lola very small because it's in a small pot I think I think I should put away my coffee because I can't hold it look winter is definitely here that got my calla lily is definitely got frostbite so anyway let's continue with the bonsification so even here this is planted or stressed for a long time if you stress a plant these are my favorite or one of my favorite plants those two basically are sort of babies ready that one is a cutting from a mommy plant or should I say, had I taken a cutting from this one here, it would be part of it. So they're, I think they're cousins, <laughs> is that how it is? Now this plant here, okay, this is very hard. So this one is a big one. Now these two are the same age. Had I put this one in a big pot with a lot of soil, because this one is in a master succulent soil mix, and this other one is in my advanced soil mix. So if both of them are equal, this one would have been a big cluster, although this was bigger before and it root rotted because it was in a small pot. And I can't remember now whether I repotted it or just remove 
the other ones, but this goes to show the differences of growth depending on the size of the pot and the soil that you put them in. So this is on a suffering soil that is on a growing soil. And the other one, this is actually the nephew or niece, that one there. And hang on, I'll put that one there. And that one, I took a cutting and did not plant it for a long time. And I made it bent. And now, look, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? It became translucent. So in growing bonsai succulents, you really have to put it in a soil that doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. So it's basically, okay, I'm going to use that word stress you are stressing the plant out and when you stress a plant out eventually it will die <laughs> of stress but this one here my melaco chevria melaco that's been stressed look how beautiful the color is so it's been in this pot for a very very long time small pot hardly any nutrients no food no nothing but it's trying to survive still look it's even grown babies underneath look at the babies but Again, there's stress. Now, another melaco here next to it. I think this one, oh sorry, this might be a chroma. <laughs> I think this one is a chroma. So the only way, now I can't tell, okay? So they're both very, very shiny. So this one's, I can't get a chroma to color up like that pretty color there, okay? Hang on, see? So anyway, but this soil here has been depleted of nutrients and that's the reason why they look so pretty. So if you plant them in a pot that's small, no nutrients at all. Hang on, another uh, comparison. So this is a Graptiveria mappin. Look how beautiful that is. It needs to be cleaned, just removing the bottom leaves like so that's been left dry for so long even actually they're out in the open here they've been getting a lot of rain but it's not getting enough water or it's not able to absorb the water it is absorbing the water but not enough to make it grow big so the stress or i like to say the tortured one can you tell the difference the one on the right is also a graptivaria mappin and it's so pretty and the stem is so big and probably bigger than the stem of this one here if i can expose okay show me your legs there you go there's the leg there most definitely can you see hang on so the one on the left has got thicker stems than the one on the right so that tells me this one is an older plant compared to that one in that pot so it's a matter of putting them in small soil with no nutrients or which means you have to put very minimal fertilizer you also have to put a little bit because if you don't the plant is also gonna suffer and die on you and speaking of dying on me this is my Romeo that I've been meaning to repot. This Romeo was potted about three years ago with the Pearl von Nonberg and also the Sedum Clavatum. This is already a very frost-hardy Sedum Clavatum since we're speaking about the frost. Now, I really wanted to repot them, but I just didn't get around to it. Now, can you see how they have grown? They have become short and stumpy compared to my Romeos that are here. That's in that needs to be cleaned up so this one so let's pick that one up okay there's even bigger ones than this okay so this one now so they are all the same age but look how small this is compared to those ones in that pot they needed to be fertilized again and the clavatum is also pretty but it needs to have more babies than that but since there's not enough food so they just sort of shared amongst themselves whatever that's in there and also this pvn although it looks very 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 pretty it is suffering so it's a little bit like us women wearing high heel shoes it's not necessary but we wear it because we want to look pretty <laughs> We want to walk sexy. Don't you feel like you walk sexy when you're wearing high heel shoes? I do. But anyway, 
So same age, different pot size. And this one is in my master succulent and soil mix, the big one. And this one is just in a small pot and also in an advanced soil mix. So that is what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. You have to limit the soil if you want to bonsify things. That is my shichikuksi. My shichikuksi, let's just pick that up. That needs to be cleaned up. So I just want to show you this one. This is a Haworthiopsis. Oopsie, okay. See the bottom? Because it's sitting on soil. So it's trying to root or grow into the pot here, the bigger pot. And the hat's pink is just, grab the very hat's pink. Douglas hat is so beautiful. Now, this is a good example of bonsification. Bonsification to perfection. Okay, this is Graptopetalum paraguayensi bernalensi in a small pot. And that one is in a cup, but it's been growing into, so I can't even pull that out. Hang on, I just put you up here. See if I, that's already grown into this pot here and so it's big compared to this one which is small and pretty very colorful and again that one up the top are the same plants and that one has been in that pot for a long time and there's already no nutrients in it so it even looks prettier even though there's a lot of them that came from just one plant so every time the leaves grow I just drop it there and it just got thicker and thicker but it's really long and gangly now that needs to be reported but I won't I'll leave it there because I haven't got time but this one now you can see how beautiful that is okay don't I'm sure that's trying oh not yet the roots hasn't come out yet so but anyway so look how beautiful that is so there's really nothing to bonsification. I don't want to do a separate video of how to bonsify succulents because there's no need. Just put it in a small pot with the limited resources of soil. I mean, the soil is not that rich or don't put any fertilizer or very limited fertilizer. In this case, it probably has probably a couple of drops of my Seamongous pellets. But apart from that, it hasn't been fertilized for the last two and a half years that it's been grown in this pot and this one here I'm going to show you I'll take one of these as well because this is a really good example of the size of okay so those ones are in a slightly bigger pot the same acacia pond but you can see that this one is more compact on the right because it's in a smaller pot and that one is a slightly bigger pot and also this one here these two are the same age and i potted something in a small pot which is younger okay pretty in pink you are so pretty are you pretty in pink never mind anyway <laughs> i get distracted so these ones are also ones that i'm trying to bonsify so these ones now look at the difference this is now a later one so i potted this up about a year and a half ago and i'm slowly bonsifying it again to grow like this because the small ones is just so pretty anyway oh did any oh look affected by the frost the sedum crop the sedum nova look at that it's translucent that got frostbite but it doesn't matter so this one's now you can see the difference so if you want to bonsify plants Put it in a smaller pot and then this one again this two this is shichikuksi even in the shade and drying because the pot is just small look how small this is actually a salt and pepper shaker and this one is a slightly bigger pot although this one is a bit later but you can see that if you restrict the soil the plants will grow small and down here is where my haworthiopsis is hiding look at that i think you called atenuata I just have to uh Hawartia Coartata. Are you Coartata? You can't be. Anyway, <laughs> yes, they are Hawartia Coartata. There you go. So that's the difference. That one on the left is in a big pot, and this one on the right is in a small pot. But look at the size difference. Look, I'm even inserting it there. So you want to bonsify a plant and make it look pretty? Put it in a small pot. And therefore giving it limited amount of soil and they will look pretty like this and even here there's another one i am 
torturing and look oh how beautiful that halbingeri gorgeous plant look at that beautiful I can see so many new plants with new names in the market nowadays that has that same look but more expensive <laughs> So anyway guys, that's all I've got for this video and I'm going to go check further or have a look further to see what other bonsified plants I have here. But, oh yes, okay, before I forget because I just saw two uh, something, okay, I'll put this one here. Okay, this one, I'm just getting so distracted because that's I think, rainbow sunset or something that needs to be cleaned up. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. I need to, what are you? Oh, this is Fadissima Nom Enval, I think, or Briar <laughs> Rose. I believe they're one and the same plant. So, but this one now, I need to clean this up along with my shelf tonight. So hopefully by tomorrow, I can put some new plants in that shelf. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. I'll finish my coffee. No, I'm not finished yet. I'm going to add this on because this is the one I intentionally planted in here. Just so this is my Mexican giant. I wanted to see why this thing is looking so pretty and this one is looking so big and beautiful. Uh, now, see the difference? So this one now, I believe this would have been, although it came from my garden, or that's already babies, propagations, like these ones, once upon a time, those ones there were that baby there in the corner. And now, they, this one has grown big, the same and as the mummy plant, and this one has had its own look, compact, beautiful and gorgeous so i think i like this fat and chubby version better oh. beautiful